Good morning, guys. How y'all this morning? It's a good cold morning this morning. It's 25 degrees out this morning. Guys, this morning I come out to check on my greenhouse and I thought I'd show y'all how putting my mini, mini greenhouse inside my mini cow panel greenhouse is working out. Now, if you watched one of my videos before where I was showing my cold frame and stuff and my temperature controlled heat lamps that I had, well, I brought them out here. I ain't got nothing in the cold frame and I got my mini, mini greenhouse in here and I got my heat lamps with my temperature control running. And I'm gonna show y'all on a thermometer here that it's 25 degrees. And you can see my camera looks like it's trying to fog up. And I'm going to show y'all what the temperature is in my mini, mini greenhouse with just them two little light uh, heat lamps running. I'm trying to show y'all on a thermometer in the greenhouse here. I don't know if y'all can see that. This is one of these that's hard to read. It's like 25 degrees this morning. But now here in my little mini greenhouse... I'm gonna open it up just to show y'all. See that kept that up there at 50 degrees and it's 25 outside. In case you didn't see it, there's the little, two little heat lamp bulbs and they hooked up on a temperature control switch. So when it gets up down below, somewhere around 65 degrees, they come on. Well, of course, when it's this cold, they stay on the whole time. But as long as it's keeping it below freezing on these extra cold nights, and I've been checking it, and it's been keeping it. Well, actually, around as I done opened it, that's gone down. But when I first come out here, it was 50 degrees. And guys, I've been checking this on these cold nights like this. Every morning, I check it. Every evening before I go to bed, I check it to make sure ain't everything's working good. But it's been keeping that around 50 degrees on these 25 degree nights. And it ain't just been 25 degrees. It's been 25 degrees and the wind's been blowing 20 mile an hour. So all you little cracks and crannies around the doors and windows, it's getting a lot of cold air in here. So actually on a still night, it would keep that warmer. But I just wanted to give y'all a little update, show y'all how you can put your mini greenhouse inside your greenhouse and hook you up a, just a couple little heat lamps. And like I said, they make lights. They don't put off lights. That's just little heat lamps. Puts off heat. And I got them set up on that temperature control switch. Ain't nothing no more than a switch that you use in your house to control. I think it was like 15 or less than $20 from Home Depot for the switch. And I rigged that up and it's temperature control. So that's how you can easily have your little place to fit your seedlings in while they fresh getting started. Because you want to try to get an early start inside the house. I got some, uh, just a few started. I ain't started my major starting, but these out here is mostly flowers and stuff, zinnias and marigolds and such like that, that I wanted to get started early. And I'm just letting them start on their own outside here in the greenhouse. But once I get stuff in the house and it starts growing, guys, and it starts where it's too, too big to keep in the house, I can bring it out here in the greenhouse. Then it ignites when I know it's going to get cold. You don't want them to get to freezing. I really don't like them getting below 40 myself. I can put them down here in this mini greenhouse. But guys, I hope this little, I know this is a very short video, but I just want to give some of you viewers an update on how this works and something that may trigger an idea in your mind somehow you can set up. Now, I'm will going to go on and tell you, if you're in the south and you're going to build your greenhouse, I built this cow panel greenhouse. But in the south, you need a greenhouse that the sides roll up on or something. 
it gets too hot in here. So that's why you see I put this shade cloth on here, even right here, this time of the year, it gets hot enough during the day that inside of the greenhouse get 100, 100, over 100 degrees. So I put my shade cloth back on it. I got a fan sitting in the window on that end, and that's the window that has the greenhouse hinge on it that opens up as hotter it gets, it opens, but then I have a window on this door here. But on them hot days, you have to come open this door wide open, keep that fan sucking air through here. So a mini greenhouse is a good idea, but if you're in the south, when you build it, next time I have to put replace my plastic on this, I'm going to change mine and have it where you can roll the sides up. Guys, it don't take much temperature at all. If you get 70 degrees and the sun's shining, it'll get over 100 degrees in these little greenhouses. So my tip there is if you're going to build your greenhouse and these little cow panel greenhouses is simple to build and i got a video i attach above of me building this one plus i built this one on some metal skids so i can pull it around different places because i didn't know exactly where i wanted it but now i think i got it set where i'm gonna leave it a few years but if you're gonna build you a greenhouse of any kind like i said this cow panel one's a good cheap one to build you can just keep adding cow panels make them as long as you want and it works out good but when you do it guys go on and come up with your way to make the sides roll up at least about three to four foot on the sides where you can roll it up if you're in the south because they just don't i'm right here in northeast louisiana tonight's 25 degrees i'm telling you guys tomorrow it could be 75 so that's one thing i wished i'd have done and I thought about trying to do it this year before I started, but the way it is, if I cut my plastic to make it roll up, it's not going to be secure. So I'm going to wait the next time I want to put new plastic, and then I'm going to take some tuba twos, and I'm going to have to make some framework, and then I'm going to have it to where I can roll my sides up. Other than that, I'm enjoying my greenhouse. I put me some shells in here the other day. I don't know how good y'all can see them there with the camera setting, but this is nothing more but some aluminum. I had back in the day when I had a three-wheeler and used to haul them, load them in the back of a truck. Well, these things has been in my shed for years and I never use them because nowadays I haul a side-by-side -side on a trailer. Ain't gonna put a side-by-side -side in the back of a truck, no way. I seen them laying out there and I said, well, I don't know why I ain't thought of that already. They aluminum, so they ain't gonna rust or rot. Got me two good shells, extra shells now in the greenhouse out here. And guys, it's plumb nice having, like I said, any 25 degrees out here right now. But when you ain't in the wind and the sun is cloudy today, but if the sun was out, you could get down in short sleeve pretty quickly here this morning. But again, guys, I just hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope it gives some of you some ideas. The main thing I wanted to show you how the little mini greenhouse set up with the heat lamps work like i said it's something some of you may want to try you ain't got to do exactly what i did it just if you like me i like watching other people's stuff and it gives me ideas of something i can do that just like trigger something say well hey i didn't think about that i'm gonna go try that but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you like these kind of videos please give me a thumbs up if you never subscribe please subscribe and ring that bell so you'll get notifications of my videos don't cost you a thing to subscribe but the more subscribers the more views the more thumbs up you get the more the algorithm on the youtube helps get my channel notarized so i appreciate y'all i love all my viewers Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all have a blessed day. God bless. See y'all next time.